Hello everyone and welcome to this general love reading for the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. My name is Agnes and welcome to my channel as well, Innate Wisdom. And if you like my videos, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel. So let's get started, Scorpio, with the person on your mind, the person you're interested in or thinking about. Let's see what they're up to right now. What's their current general attitude towards this situation? between the two of you. Judgment. Eight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups. So could it be Scorpio that this person wants to reconnect with you? Because that's what I'm getting from the Judgment card. You might be hearing from this person or if you two had difficulties, I feel like they want to stay with you in that case. They don't want to be apart from you. That's the truth in their heart and that's the calling that they feel. And from the Eight of Pentacles, I'm hearing that they want to find stability with you. They want to find solutions to the problems. And also Nine of Cups, this is wishes fulfilled. I feel like this um, relationship with you is their wish come true. So I very much feel like this person has you on their mind all the time. So let's get some clarifications and see what else can we find out about your person's attitude right now. And here I'm using the Shadowscapes tarot cards. Eight of Pentacles is here again, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Stability, stability, that's what they want. They want to find solutions. They want to work out the problems. That's their general attitude right now. I feel like that's their approach. And I, for some reason, for those of you who are not in touch right now with their people, I feel like they will be reaching out or somehow you will be reconnecting. That's just what I feel. But um, let's see now what this person thinks about you, Scorpio. What do they think of you? The Hierophant. The Page of Cups. And... Eight of Cups. So they feel like in spite of your feelings for them, you're still turning your back to them. Like they think that you secretly want to reach out to them. Whether that's true or not, that's, that's up to you to decide because, you know, that's just how they see you. And um, the Hierophant um, is telling me that they see you as someone who has their expectations from this person. They, they feel like they need to live up to those expectations. And... Um, they also feel like you're kind of strict and maybe a bit rigid about some things. So, but that's their impression about you. So take it how it resonates. Let's see now their current feelings for you, Scorpio. Queen of Cups. Seven of Wands and the seven of pentacles so this person is definitely hanging on to this um, idea about the relationship they want to be in a relationship with you because they are in love queen of cups is expressing their love for you this is what symbolizes their love for you and i just feel like their heart is full of this emotion and um the seven of wands though indicates that they're not really expressing uh, those feelings. They're really kind of keeping it to themselves. I feel like they also might feel defensive about something. They might feel like they're being blamed maybe for some things that have happened. And uh, here's the seven of pentacles, which is about um, a bit of stagnation energy here. And uh, it does say though that this person really values what the two of you have and um, they don't want to lose this connection. So let's see, what do we need to know about the seven of wands? And that's the six of pentacles. So even though they're not really opening their hearts, they're not really revealing what they have in their heart, they still want to give energy to this relationship. I feel like they're still making effort, even though they're not talking about their feelings, but it feels like somehow they're making effort to, to make this work somehow. Um, let's see, what else do we need to know? 
about the seven of wands. The Knight of Wands, they're really passionate about you and they want to rush back towards you. That's what I feel. They, they can barely hang on to that horse. It feels like it just wants to run away with them towards you. But the Seven of Pentacles is kind of holding them back. I feel like um, they really want to come towards you, but they maybe they don't have the courage. Although um, I feel like they don't know how you would take take it if they came back to you or if, if they came towards you. I feel like this person just doesn't want to be rejected. So let's see what do we need to know about your person according to the Love Oracle cards, Scorpio. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling. And I just feel like this person is not really showing you what's in their heart. It's that 701's energy. So um, they, they're just keeping it to themselves for now. Um, I feel like they're just being careful. Let's see what else do we need to know about your person. The sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And what I'm getting from this is that the truth is going to be expressed somehow. They're going to be opening up from their hearts. And I, I feel uh, the energy of that, that they're going to be reaching out to you, maybe even in an unexpected or unusual way. All right, so let's see now their probable future actions towards you. Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands. So they want to reach out to you, but they're really overthinking their steps. It's like they're really up in the head about something. And um, because they're so much up in the head, it's like they're fueling their fears, their doubts, some kind of um, disbelief perhaps. And um, this is heavy, heavy mental energies here, very much about nervous tension, this Nine of Swords, but the Ace of Cups, that's what they want. That's their intention. I feel like they want to reach out to you. They want to reconnect. They want to feel that heart-to-heart -heart connection again. However, there are some conflicts maybe between the two of you that you will have to resolve. Here's the Five of Wands. That's about kind of like a power struggle, or maybe you both have strong egos and uh, maybe the egos are disagreeing about some things. Um, so let's see what we need to know about this Nine of Swords energy, because that's the, the worry, the anxiety, the sleepless nights. Four of Cups. And what I'm hearing from this is that this person is kind of maybe worried about not being good enough for you or that you may be dissatisfied with what they have to offer. Let's see what we need to know about the Five of Wands. Page of Wands. So I feel like this is maybe resolved by communication. And um, the Page of Wands also indicates maybe receiving news or maybe a new cycle starting between the two of you. And I feel like the new cycle is going to start by resolving these conflicts. All right, so let's see now. Where is this relationship headed between the two of you, Scorpio? Where is this headed? Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands showed up again. So we have two Knights here, two court cards. And um, I feel like uh, there's going to be uh, a new energy revival here between the two of you. It might be a slow process. I feel like one of you is kind of reserved, maybe too, too careful, um, maybe due to some trust issues. But I feel like there's a mutual... Um, giving efforts to this relationship, uh, mutual wanting to make this work. And the Knight of Wands indicates also 
sexuality, sexual chemistry, maybe there's lots of passion here. And I feel like there's also a cheerful energy about this next stage, although it's not without conflicts because I feel like one of you wants to move faster than the other is able to or wants to. So let's see what we need to know about these two court cards. The Knight of Swords, it feels like somebody keeps being indecisive, maybe uh, unreliable or, you know, maybe they change their minds all the time. So I don't know who this energy belongs to, but somebody tends to be kind of like up in the head. Maybe they promise a lot, but they don't keep their promises. And also the Knight of Swords is not exactly the character who likes to uh, settle down. The Knight of Swords has many ideas and they want to go and explore those ideas. It's almost like somebody's being too much up in the head about something. So let's see what else do we need to know about these two court cards. I feel like the two of you may not be exactly on the same wavelength here. And that's the King of Pentacles, which is yet another court card. And I feel also the sense of rigidity about something. Maybe ideas, belief systems, um, traditions, values, something that seems to keep one of you stuck and thus keeps the relationship stuck. Let's see what we need to know about that Six of Pentacles that is now being hidden by this King of Pentacles. But it's still there. Let's see what we need to know about the Six of Pentacles. And this is the Five of Swords. So just like the Five of Wands indicated, uh, the Five of Swords also indicates conflicts. Um, that might be the type of conflicts where you might feel like there's mind games involved and uh, manipulation or it could be, you know, heavy duty arguments with uh, hurtful things being said. So I feel like these will need to be ironed out and I feel like it's because you're not on the same page yet. But, you know, there's definitely that heart-to-heart -heart connection here. That's what I feel from the card. So take it how it resonates, but it might be worth it to give this a try, to work out these conflicts. And I feel like in some cases it could also be related to some past events that happened between the two of you, especially if it led to the loss of trust. All right, so Scorpio, let's see some Oracle cards now. And I'm going to be using the Moonology deck and let's see what these cards have to say to you, Scorpio. Balance spirituality and practicality. Let's see what else. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I wish you all the best with this situation and let's now move on to the singles. So Scorpio, if you are single or waiting on new love, let's see what the tarot has in store for you. Ace of Wands. Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Wow, there's definitely lots of fire energy here and also lots of passion in the air in whatever form it may show up in. Here's the Ace of Wands and I feel like there might be a fiery start to maybe a new connection. It might be an off and on connection because I feel like there's definitely passion here and lots of chemistry. But because it's so heated, it can actually lead to arguments as well, power struggles, and maybe, um, you know, you're meeting a fire sign person such as an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, although they could be another Scorpio as well. So I feel like there's, there, there might be a lot of uh, extremes going on here, sometimes together, sometimes not. And uh, I feel like because maybe both parties involved are very confident and know what they want. And it's just a question of, uh, you know, being on the same page, really discussing what both of you want and expressing it clearly to the other. Um, let's get some clarifications. Let's see what we need to know about the 501's energy. The Ace of Pentacles. 
And I feel like whatever these arguments or whatever these crises are uh, indicated by the 501s could be undermining the stability between the two of you. So the stability might come very slowly. Let's see what else do we need to know about the 501s. And that's the Two of Pentacles. From the Two of Pentacles, I'm getting hesitation about something. And in particular, it could be with regards to commitment. Maybe one of you is hesitating about commitment or maybe about trusting the other person or trusting the process. So that's what I have for you, single Scorpios. And uh, thank you so much for being here. And I wish you a great day.